Hi, my name is Dr. Emily Osman, and I am a physician with the Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. PGTA, or pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, is the process by which we are able to test an embryo to see is it chromosomally normal or abnormal. So chromosomally normal refers to the number of chromosomes that constitute the genetic makeup of that embryo. So are, is there an extra chromosome or a missing chromosome? When an embryo is chromosomally abnormal, it will either result in a failed embryo transfer or can lead to miscarriage. By exclusively transferring a single embryo, which is chromosomally normal, we're increasing the live birth rates, decreasing the miscarriage rates associated with IVF, and we're increasing the likelihood of a delivery of one healthy baby at a time. So we take a small sample of cells from the outer layer of the embryo, which we call the trophectoderm. These are the cells we'll eventually go on to develop into the placenta. We take a sample of those cells and we analyze the DNA from the cells to see are there any extra or missing chromosomes or pieces of chromosomes. The process of the biopsy that we perform to test the embryo for aneuploidy does not damage the embryo. We performed a large study in 2019 which set out to assess does embryo biopsy result in a lower likelihood of pregnancy compared to embryos that are not biopsied and we found that there was no compromise in implantation rates or pregnancy rates for the embryos that were biopsied. PGTA does not fix a chromosomally abnormal embryo. It purely allows us to tell if that embryo is chromosomally abnormal and thus not suitable for transfer. Most insurance companies do not cover the cost of PGTA. However, companies such as Progeny do cover pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, which helps increase the success of IVF, decrease the time to pregnancy, and also promotes delivery of a single healthy baby.